倒せない。Brother was not ready for that one. All right, thank you, John Numbers on the ones and twos, saving us from Brawl as we go into Insignia Leviathan, uh, which is <laughs> interesting. So New Hampshire versus Rhode Island. Right. I believe Insignia has been playing very well recently. Every time yeah. I see an Insignia, Insignia result tweet, it's like, got third at this tournament, got first at this tournament, won the pre-local, um, the Live Free or DI tournament uh, last night, and Big momentum to go into this tournament right here, but has a very tough opponent. And is the Leviathan playing random today? Like, what's uh, going yeah, on? I think so. Judging from like the well, it was Cloud last game, and then we got the win, so it might just be like random now. But that is like sort of the Leviathan classic, you know, just kind of running through the characters. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like, prove to me that I have to play my main in this matchup. Right, right. Very disrespectful thing to do, but that's Leviathan for you. Exactly. And that might be why his region doesn't root for him in his region. <laughs> Definitely still got some fans though. Doesn't get that follow up off the nair, but big opportunity for Insignia. Good Ooh. early percent combo right there with the up throw. That was a huge, yeah, those are huge follow ups there. Just like reading every defensive option that Leviathan chose in that situation, but wasn't able to quite establish the lead trap situation. And we're back to center stage. Huge opening for Leviathan. Can he get a little situation? Yes, he can. I like that kind of feigning an option by jumping up first, then going and following up with that forward air. Good option right there, forcing early air dodge from Insignia, but on the hunt right now. Yeah, those those little those little feigned uh, empty hops they get me every time. I'm yeah. like, he's gonna go for an aerial. Oh no! <laughs> Why would he jump if not hit with an aerial? Exactly. <laughs> thank you, thank you for finally uh, like confirmation right bias there. right there. <laughs> Down here though. Uh, aerial for the books to say the least. Finally taking that stock for Insignia down to one apiece here. Could definitely make it happen, but I don't know. It's, it's a, like a confidence boost for Leviathan and a confidence breaker sometimes when you know you're not even playing against the best character. Mm -hmm. So we'll see yeah. what happens. Although I, I will, feel, I will say that like I feel like he did get a, a good role here. Like Link feels like a good matchup into Bowser, and also there's just not like the hardest character to play. Like at the top top level, right. but if you're just playing Fundy's Link. You just hit that air button, hit that down tilt button, and you got you got a good game plan going. Trying to get the up air, not quite, and Insignia gets another lease on life here. Okay, Boomerang doesn't really lead in anything in that spot. Bomb barely missing as well. Let's see what the play is here. It's going to be forward air from Insignia into a forward tilt. Big opportunity here, but does not hit that two frame. Yeah, and if he got that up tilt, that might have just been the game, oh, unless yeah. Leviathan had those... Do okay, that works too. I love anticlimactic ends. Yes, yeah. let's go. <laughs> yes, what a hype ending. Let's go. Ooh. All right, well, now we'll see what character gets picked from Leviathan. We got some interesting ones as well. We got B-Dog going up against 808 down on setup C. And we have Britt and Frozen over on setup D, or station D. Uh, and, of course, there's your favorite, Rainbow Cruise. Rainbow Cruise, yes. And uh, it's <laughs> oh, yes. Belka. Belka breaking out the Kirby. Uh, I'm sorry, the Snake, rather. Oh. Uh, against the Kirby from Cody on Rainbow Cruise. That is, I don't know how they ended up with those two characters, but definitely do not want to find out, I'll be <laughs> yeah. honest. We All right. Stick with this one, then. So Leviathan's just sticking with the Link, despite the SD. Um... You know, again, just pr just saying, like, I can win with this character. Great double Nair, but not going to be able to convert that into a stock. But sending him off stage again is hard for Leviathan to get out of the corner here. And the four is not going to do it. Big boy Bowser is going to take a while to, to die. Okay, nice little Nair there. Follow up after that air dodge from the bomb. Good little combo starter, too. But get him attacked. Well-timed right there. Yep. 
Ooh, I great, love that. Yeah, I was going to say great bread and butter combos there from Leviathan. Ooh, the, the cheeky little hold down B for the, for the up B, my favorite thing that links do. Catches me off guard every time. I play delay at the local, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm safe here. Ah! <laughs> you get hit with the third one, and you're like, yeah, okay. Yeah. It takes me about, like, five of them to, like, adapt. Right. And then by the fifth one, it's like, okay, stop doing that. <laughs> the fool me five times. That's shame on me. Uh, but back throw, good opener right there. Forward tilt catching that aggressive option from Insignia. And the bomb should set up for a lethal edge guard here, which is going to be up smash. Does it very easily. Leviathan putting on a show this game, saying that last one was a mistake, frankly. And you might think that was an easy, easy ledge guard for Leviathan, but it actually took a very like hard to set up like sometimes people don't realize like how hard it is to set up hard edge guards against these characters you know but leviathan just doing it time and time again in this game two get two stocks two edge guards is he going to make it three that's the question on everyone's mind see if he gets the opportunity insignia usually well historically being last game clutches up kind of keeps that momentum going maybe gets a comeback but we'll see what happens Four. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's looking for something big. I mean, he kind of needs it. He's down a lot right here, so mad respect for that S smash. Not quite working out there, but hey, I don't knock him for trying to, again, trying to get another smash attack. Okay, I think Insignia. The only reason it didn't work is because that like, little pullback, too, from the boomerang. So, great idea, theory. Yeah. Okay, okay back to... Oh. Back to... Ooh! Up smash is not going to do it. Bowser's big, but he's not going to lose a lot of those. And a, Fourth throw situation, another edge guard possibly for Leviathan, and the forward air is going to do it. Leviathan going up 2 1 in this set. With the link. Right, with the link, too. So, very interesting stuff. I wonder if we're going to see the link continue, maybe switch over. Maybe to just pick one of character. the other links. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Leviathan play every link at this point. This is the first time I've seen Link. I've seen Young Link and Toon Link, but now I've seen Adult Link, so we're finally getting the trifecta there. Sticking with Adult Link, yeah, just saying. Maybe this is the right character choice in this matchup. I mean, it's worked out so far. Sure. Other than an SD in game number two, it was pretty dominant display so far from what we've seen. All right, they're getting into it. Already scrapping. I love the point blank boomerang. It's such a good like way to start that combo. Like The angle that it has for knockback is so good. He's in a forward air very easily, but good response right here. Oh my goodness, Ooh. he went right back up and then takes the lead. Big Bowser side special. Yeah, that was like, I think 80% unanswered there from Insignia, and he definitely needs those. And a raw back here to get it at 69%, so something's in the air for Insignia in this game. Okay, doesn't get that extension off of the platform. The boomerang gets shielded as well. All right, back air to open up, but doesn't have the boomerang. Yeah, that's going to cost Leviathan an opening there, but Insignia doesn't get much anyways, and Leviathan ends up getting the next interaction anyways. Ledge trap situation, so hard for Insignia to get out, but somehow finds a side B. Okay, I like the idea for the bomb, but of course Insignia is going to try and keep that pressure up, keep this lead going. Boomerang stuffs out the approach. That one doesn't do it, though. I like that. Oh, that's such good pressure from Leviathan, empty hops, and eventually sneak it into forward air. Ooh, okay. Ooh, yeah, calling up the spot dodge with the up smash. Very brave option right there, because if that wasn't a spot dodge, that was an easy punch there for Insignia, but confident Le Leviathan getting the, the stop right there, but is now stuck at the ledge. Forward air for Insignia, can he find the edge guard? Just rolls back on, yeah. <laughs> Had the breath, the fire breath on for too long. Ooh, okay. Nice little empty air with the up airs. Really rack on the damage here, but Signia finally finds an opening, goes for a little bit too much of that back air, and the Link Nair does so much right there for Leviathan. Oh, oh my god, crazy interactions right there, both players whiffing, but somehow Leviathan finds the opening, trying to get the down tilt, but aggressive option on the ledge for Insignia to get back. Ooh, the parry's coming through, but neither player able to hit, they're scrapping. Yeah, they're scrambling as well. Boomerang. Could lead into something here, but no. Insignia makes it back only to jump into a subsequent forward air. Now a very slight lead, and there it goes. Yeah, Leviathan just trying to wait out the invincibility there. Wasn't quite able to do it. And now we are at zeros here in game number four. Will Le Insignia force a game number five, or will Leviathan close it out? Let's find out. It's looking like Leviathan's got the first opening, but first opening doesn't doesn't tell tell us much about who's gonna win this. No, especially like Link gets a little throw into a tilt and then Bowser answers back in percent with like one aerial. 
So we see right now 40 to 50. Little landing hit from neutral air. Usually good for a combo starter, but just misposition slightly. Not really going to lead to a whole lot. Good shield on the boomerang, keeping that pressure up with the dashes, but just shy with that F tilt. And, okay. and max range down tilt to get out of the corner there was so crucial there from Leviathan. Had center stage, but losing it to the Bowser Bomb. Jungle situation here just with for, for Insignia, but it doesn't matter because he gets... Station B. Oh my god, Insignia is about to take it. I mean, this is the Vyfin's tournament life. Yeah, with this the is, link, too. This is like a top 16 seed. Is this game 5? Uh, I believe so. Right? Did Insignia not win two games? Yeah, Insignia yeah. won two games. Very well. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, off the side. Yeah. Good stuff right there. Alright, Insignia. Up throw Nair doing 37% from 0%. Zero, from zero I mean, he needs it. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be tough. A Leviathan can definitely bring it all the way back, especially if Insignia does get maybe a little hasty with some of the options, but it's still so tough. A lot mm -hmm. of room to work with here for Insignia, and a very small margin of error for Leviathan as well. So. Yep. Let's and see. Leviathan, yeah, Leviathan slowly but surely making it back in this game. The parry, not enough to get a punish, but signs of life here from Leviathan. But playing against Bowser, a, a back air could take a pretty early stock in F Smash. We've seen Insignia go for them before. So I'd be very scared if I was Leviathan. But he's a much better player than me, so he is not scared at all. All right, it's very tough percent though. 73 after that throw. And at the ledge, too, that forward air is dangerous. What is the play here? Wow, oh. rolls through, gets hit by the Whirling Fortress, and that forward, back air, rather, does it. What a pickup, Insignia takes it over Leviathan. And Leviathan, unfortunately, going down very early in the tournament. Yeah, I I have a like a like a, a a feeling that Leviathan maybe didn't care about this tournament run, going Link. I don't know what the thought process was there, but it just felt like um, that that is not what you usually see from Leviathan. It feels like, but right, great right. job from Insignia to take advantage of that. All right, whoa. We could dip into some brawl real quick. Just a, yeah, give, give them a Let's little...